Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to be looking at the Davies Love Roadmap event which has popped up. It is a Valentine's event just a month, month and a half late and let's be honest if anyone's getting a Valentine's gift a month and a half late that is not too good but we'll take what we can get. There is some free to play elements in this but the majority of it is premium. You cannot unfortunately complete the entire event without dropping money. That is sad times, but that's the way it is. We'll look at the message in the inbox. And as it says, join the limited time Davies Love Roadmap event now. Follow along in this entertaining story and fight for valuable rewards. Begin this adventure with Davies Search Roadmap. This is 100% free to play roadmap, that Davies Search Roadmap. It costs world energy to do. And it, I think it, I believe it cost 80 world energy in total. And the completion of this roadmap will reward a heart box of chocolates and Valentine's cards. Now the heart box of chocolates is used to unlock one of the next three roadmaps. And then the Valentine's cards are the energy for those roadmaps. It says, use a heart box of chocolates to unlock a choice roadmap. Davian Naya, Davian Harper or Davian Ajax. Use Valentine's cards to fight in these roadmaps to progress and gain valuable rewards along the way. Completion of one choice roadmap will reward one wine glass. And then obviously this is the confirmation. Gain additional heart, box of chocolates and Valentine's cards in the shop. That's the only way you can seemingly get the extras to complete the rest of the event. So you can do the free to play access with world energy to gain the one heart, box of chocolates and the Valentine's cards. You get 300 and then you can do one of the roadmaps. You have got enough Valentine's cards to complete that roadmap. You also do get a little bit extra to farm the last stage once. And the reason farming the last stage is important is because the last stage of Act 4, because there are four acts in each of these roadmaps, in each of these choice roadmaps will have special drops. Davy and Naya has trainers, be it legendary, trait trainers, epic trainers, ultra rare, rare and uncommon. Davian Harper has medals, Ascension medals, which is the silver medals or the gold medals for Ascendance medals. And then Davy and Ajax has gear, which it can be legendary, epic, or ultra rare. Now, in terms of what you want to do for that, I would say it's probably not even worth looking at the special drops. It is completely random what you're going to get. You could just get the, the worst type of Ascendance medals. You could get ultra rare gear for the gear, and you could get uncommon trainers for the trainers. You're only gonna get two goes on that last stage. The first time through that you complete it and then you have just enough energy to farm it once at the end and as it says the special roadmap event will only last a short time that miss out on this kind of story and incredible rewards unfortunately we don't get to experience the entire story unless we buy the extras because i i have completed the roadmap in one of my regions and i got part way through the story and then i just can't go any further because i have to pay to get the rest of the story unfortunately and that's the way it is but looking at the roadmap on this region as you can see davy's search roadmap is the free energy one it costs 80 in total you do get some stage rewards as well which is good a couple of cans i think and and just some tokens which is nice but it's mainly these things that you're after which is the box of chocolates and the cards which will unlock one of the next three roadmaps so this is where you need to make your choice because the roadmaps do give different stage rewards if you just check in the previews each stage gives rewards and then last stage gives something as a bonus. You do get completion rewards and those are for Naya, they are mods and for Harper, they are some crafting gear items basically and for Davy and Ajax, there are a lot of trainers. However, if you go through the stage rewards, I think that the best one in terms of getting trainers is probably um, Harper because she gives four bennies out over the course of her stages, not the completions. But the stages as you can see i'm going through the davy and ajax one right now and there's no bennies on any of the stages not at all and we get to the last one and not a single benny so the only time you get bennies is in the actual completion of the act of act three whereas if we check harper's she gives a benny at the at stage eight every single time i believe stage eight another benny and then if we go in here i think it's stage two there we go, we get two more Bennies. So you get four Benedicts if you do the Harper roadmap compared to only getting two if you do the, the Ajax one. It really depends on what you need. I would go through those stages and just look at what you need. If you need Benedicts for Ascension, Harper one might be the one for you. I wouldn't focus too much on the end rewards farming that last stage, you know, in terms of what it can get you because you can only farm it once and you could get the worst thing. I got fortunate and I did get you know, two epic items drop, but 
they're not the best. They just they're not, you could get a, you could get a GPS, you could get a canteen, you could try and go for that. If you're someone who is going to drop money, I would say you know getting these cards and farming that last stage, it could be worth doing in terms of trying to get that gear. And you know you want to then decide which one's the most important for you, whether you want to go for gear, whether you want to go for medals or trainers. With the roadmaps, it is worth noting that every single stage is walkers. I didn't come up against one human stage on completing the original Davy search roadmap or completing the Davy and Ajax roadmap. So it's pretty straightforward to just blitz through it with a walker farm team and you do get the support of ajax and you do get the support of davy so just maybe utilize a leader that can give them a crit bonus or give them some sort of bonus if you really need to to unlock everything you obviously have to buy two more heart box of chocolates which is going to cost you a fair bit one heart box of chocolates costs four pound 79 you do get a couple of cards but in total you're going to need another 560 cards to complete the extra two roadmaps on the choice selections to get all three wine glasses and then on the last roadmap you're going to need 120 cards on top of that so you're going to need an extra 680 valentine's cards to complete the entire thing the stage rewards are really good on this you get like a you get stun resist hp set you get some decent hp st set stuff but the big and, and obviously the completion reward you get 10 lilith's and 10 ulysses but it's going to be the cost if we look at a hundred of these, which you're going to need 680, cost 10 pounds. So it's going to cost you in the region of 120 to 150 dollars, probably, to complete the entire thing. For some people who drop a lot of money, that could be worthwhile. That could be a good way to, you know, spend your money in the game, and you think you're going to get something back of it. But someone who doesn't spend any money, you're not going to be able to complete the roadmap. You're not going to be able to find out how the story ends. Obviously, it's a little bit of fluff, but you're not going to really find out how the story ends because it does really just end on a cliffhanger on the roadmap that I did and that's it unfortunately that's the end of the roadmap but even though this is majorly a premium event it is nice that there is at least some accessibility I do prefer like a proper ending I guess you'd say to these seasonal events so it would be nicer to be able to actually do something after one of these three roadmaps to actually get you know the end of a story it would also be great if the season events happened when the seasonal events were happening IRL so like the valentine's event happened when the valentine's event happens in real life but that's the way it is i, I, I this is a bit of fun at least um it doesn't cost too much in the way of energy because it's only 80 world energy and then the rest is down to you know the energy that you gain from that original roadmap i don't think it's too terrible but i would be patient in terms of deciding which one you want don't go for the the farmable stages too much because like i said you're only going to be able to farm that once you're going to get the the original run through you're going to get it you're going to get a potential drop and then the second time you do it you're going to farm it once and that's it so look at the stage rewards those are the most important things do tell me what you think about this event which one of these three roadmaps you're going to go for naya harper or ajax in terms of those stage rewards are you going to be buying some more of these heart chocolate boxes and trying to unlock as much as possible like i said it's probably going to cost in the region of 150 plus dollars to unlock everything and complete everything it does look like the rewards are pretty decent though however you cannot buy everything that you need to require to unlock everything just yet so it could get more expensive as things go on those are the breaks unfortunately and that's the end of my video though thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving